హలో డియర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు దే బికాస్ కామర్స్ అండ్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ అకాడమీ మెయిన్ డివియేషన్ విల్ సీ కంటిన్యూస్ సిరీస్ వాట్ వాజ్ ద ఫార్ములా ఫర్ ఇండివిజువల్ సిరీస్ మెయిన్ డివియేషన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు సిగ్మ మాట్ డి బై ఎన్ డిస్క్రిట్ సిరీస్ మెయిన్ డివియేషన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు సిగ్మ సిగ్మ ఎఫ్ ఇన్ టు మాట్ డి బై ఎన్ సేమ్ ఫార్ములా ఈవెన్ ఫర్ కంటిన్యూస్ సిరీస్ ఆల్సో సేమ్ ఫార్ములా మెయిన్ డివియేషన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు సిగ్మ ఎఫ్ ఇన్ టు మాట్ డి బై ఎన్ కోఫిషియంట్ ఆఫ్ మెయిన్ డివిషన్ ఈస్ యాజ్ యూజువల్ ఫర్ ఇండివిజువల్ డిస్క్రీట్ కంటిన్యూస్ సిరీస్ ఫర్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ద సేమ్ ఫార్ములా కోఫిషియంట్ ఆఫ్ మెయిన్ డివియేషన్ ఓన్లీ దిస్ దస్ ఇ చేంజ్ ఇన్ ఇండివిజువల్ టు డిస్క్రీట్ వాట్ ఎవర్ డిస్క్రీట్ వీ హ్యావ్ రిటర్న్ సేమ్ ఫార్ములా ఫర్ కంటిన్యూస్ ఆల్సో విల్ సీ ఎ ప్రాబ్లమ్ కంప్యూట్ మెయిన్ డివియేషన్ అండ్ కోఫిషియంట్ ఆఫ్ మెయిన్ డివియేషన్ ఫ్రమ్ మెయిన్ డాటా ఈస్ గివెన్ అస్ ఎక్స్ అండ్ ఫ్రీక్వెన్సీ asking us to take from mean first we have to calculate the mean what is the formula for mean simple formula we'll take mean formula is x bar is equal to sigma fm by n this is the formula first of all we have to calculate m mid value or mid point means which represents x okay mid value or you can say it as average 10 plus 20 20 30 30 divided by 2 15 so like we have to calculate first mid value 15 and here 20 plus 30 50 50 divided by 2 25 so like this 70 divided by 2 35 the same way you'll get all the numbers 45 55 65 75 and 85 once if you get mid value then as per the formula frequency into mid value f into m this multiplication we want so i have provided one column fm fm will use the calculator 8 into 15 120 then 10 into 20 250 250 next 15 into 35 525 next 25 into 45 1125 next 20 into 55 1100 18 65 11 70 9 75 6 75 5 85 4 25 you see this total 5 3 9 0 5390 is fm total okay so as per the formula x bar is equal to sigma fm sigma fm is 5390 divided by n n is total total of frequency that is 110 if you calculate divided by 110 uh, it comes to 49 once if you know that x bar is 49 then immediately you have to go for mod d mod d how do you get mod d x minus x means mid value right so you can say it here m minus x bar x bar is here 49 okay uh, i'll use the calculator x my m minus x bar m is here 15 minus 49 or we can say it directly 49 minus 15 34 the same 49 minus 25 24 i think like this only 14 and uh, 4 55 minus 49 
6 65 minus 49, 16, 26, 36. This calculation even in student life also I used to do. Once if I get, uh, I get an idea. So according to the tonnet of calculations, mod d we got. Then finally f into mod d, frequency into mod d. So we'll use the calculator frequency into mod d, 18 to 34. 272. Next 10 into 24, 240. Next 15 into 14, 210. 25 into 4, 100 I think. <coughs> 100. Next 20 into 6, 120, 18 into 16, 288, 9 into 26, 234, then 5 into 36, 180. This total is 1644. Once if you get, simply you can calculate uh, mod main deviation is equal to, you know the formula, you have to write the formula always remember, sigma f into mod d, sigma f into mod d is 1644 divided by number of observations that is n 110, 1644 divided by 110. It comes to 14.95. 14.95. This is mean deviation and also coefficient of mean deviation. Okay. Coefficient of mean deviation. Formula is mean deviation by mean. Mean deviation is already we got it 14.95 divided by mean, mean is 49, 14.95 divided by 49, it comes to 0 0.305, 0 0.305, that is it, am I clear, shall I give you recap, nothing to worry whether it is individual series, discrete series or continuous series, only the thing is, from where we have to calculate the mean deviation. In this problem from mean the said, data is given us x and frequency, mean we have to calculate. To calculate the mean, first remember the formula, sigma fm by n, how do we get fm, recollect it, fn to m, m means mid value, first calculate mid value, then f into m, you got it, then apply in the formula, sigma fm by n, n is total of frequency. So you got 49. Once if you get mean, immediately go for mod d, mod d. Mod d means m minus x bar, m minus x bar, x bar is 49. m is here, here. What is this m? m represents the x. x is in class interval which you cannot use it directly. So representative of x is m. So now here 15 minus 49, 34, 25 minus 49, 24. 34, 24, 14 like this, you got mod d. Once if you get the mod d, immediately go for frequency into mod d. Frequency into mod d. So you get 16, 44 is the total. Once if you get, apply it in the formula. Mean deviation is equal to sigma f into mod d, this one, divided by frequency total. Coefficient of mean deviation, mean deviation by x bar, mean deviation is this one, x bar is we know we have calculated 49, so this you got it, clear continuous series, want to take screenshot, yes, if you are perfect, take out any of your test book, so work out mean deviation individual, discrete and continuous series and keep the method inside, how to calculate, formula specially. Once if you know the formula methodology, statistics is quite easy. 
trust me practice well by the way let's check out the playlist whatever may be your course definitely our channel will be useful use it because it's free of cost don't forget to share this videos next class we'll see standard deviation practice well good luck